It is Wednesday. Um, yeah, um, we got right. Dark Falcon. Dark Falcon and Skunkle, who took out Ralphie 2 0. Really? Which one? Uh, uh, Skunkle took Ralphie out 2 0. Dark Falcon mm -hmm. uh, had to beat 681 Shadow. I have no idea. Well, I first time I've heard of them, but Richter Pau doesn't sound fun to play. Yeah, and um, yeah, I'm surprised actually Ralphie entered, but um, still good stuff um on Skunkle. Yeah, and and Dark Falcon is a Richter that's been um, been the Richter, um, and they're the one who lost the stock first. So yeah, good stuff by Skunkle. Good trade too, upper trade. Uh, I thought there was... Was it Dark Falcon this entire time? I thought there was two Richters. It was Wildcard was the other yeah, Richter. Yeah, but... just, just Wildcard and Dark Falcon. Yeah, Dark, Dark Falcon has been like kind of wreaking havoc in the top eights, I believe, right? So. Yeah, they both like go back and forth. Uh, they'll usually see Dark Falcon in the in the winner side more frequently, I think. Yeah, yeah. They both, you know, both, both good Belmonts, right? Um, yo. They tried to do that thing. Okay, so Skunkle tried to do the falling upper into re-grab and try to be a pull guy and just completely whiffed and got no punish. So <laughs> I whiffed on a grounded opponent. SMH. No ink. I got hit by a park heart today. It's okay, he held down. I guess it's better to kinda hold the cross early than late, but Without any ink, it looked like Skunkle was just not, like, not ready to play against this onslaught. Yeah, and um, yeah, and Skunkle with and Skunkle like taking that early lead, and like honestly, playing against Inkling with the lead is like infuriating, because Inkling is definitely one of those characters that you need to catch, and especially Richter's play style of kind of playing that range zoning game it's like kind of slow kind of methodical and when you have to generate offense with that it can be a little slow, especially like look at this like look like, look at look at this. yeah inkling just can snowball so quickly like oh you got grabs time to eat 30. you got grabbed now you're in the air you try to down here you got anti-aired <laughs> you tried to recover now you're at 130. I'm everywhere at once, da just vomiting damage. <laughs> of course, Inkling can naturally struggle with getting kills, but like Skunkle can take his time because he has a whole stock lead and plus 20. Okay, and that's the stock. And um, you know what? Um, Dark Falcon has made back some of these. Um, let me just come back to so. Yeah, not impossible. There's definitely some schmicks that you could do, but uh, getting your jump out of shield uh, pot is not the schmicks. Uh, uh, Something definitely got mixed. <laughs> um, yeah, but that was um, honestly that first stock was kind of an SD, right? We could, you know, it was kind of an SD. Um, but um, yeah, but one thing, Skunkle held that lead. Skunkle held. Hey, that excuse lead. me. Wait, did that go as far as I think it did? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 he likes swung and got scooped. Frame one, two, three, four, there we go. Oh, uh, okay, he got, he got close. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> Why did, did he just drop shield? Or did that hit on the exact frame that he jumped? Bro, let's, let's, you know, let's not even, let's not think about it, guys. Okay, that's it'll be best. Simple. It'll, it'll be best if we didn't actually do it. Um, uh, we're gonna run it back to PS2. And let's see if uh, Dark Falcon doesn't have the first, like, 10 seconds of He's starting off a lot better than he did prior, not only in the damage, but he's making sure to play around that crazy initial dash of Inkling, angling a lot more things down. That's Punish, and he lands that back air. So, it's for the, hopefully, can no prolonged ledge trap, but Inkling is so slippery, hard to keep a track of her, in this case. Yeah, it's almost night and day, um, like, you know, the start of these two games. Because right now, um, you have uh, Skunkle in the back foot right now. I will never underestimate the awareness of Inkling, uh, not Inkling, of Belmont players sometimes. Because if, you're, if one of their projectiles links, they're prepared at some angle 
for the other one to come in and snipe you. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like there, there was like some eight D chest going on with within a Richter, Richter's brain sometimes. It's either like eight D chest or like a monkey banging symbols around, you know. Yeah, either so, they're they're losing at checkers or they're botting you in five D chests. Like it's it's yeah. one or the other. <laughs> Wow, he lived? Okay, no rage, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah, including, um, no rage, it's just... It's a struggle. Nah, not the best, yeah. Ooh, no up smash punish. The up smash came far too late looking to punish something, uh, something else. As Dark Falcon's starting to run away with this lead a little Ooh. bit. I, that stall, that was actually a pretty nice stall coming out from Skunkle. Avo actually avoided a, uh, axe on the way up back to the stage. Yeah, some of the hold downs, uh, getting the getting the extra jumps or a little bit of momentum from the uh, from the roller or the beer versus splatter shot, is what they've been more frequently using, has gotten them around a couple of ledge traps. But when you're behind like this, it's it can just be tough. Like Inkling can thrive when they have a lead, but really start to stall when they don't. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But um. We, we've seen Skunkle take an early stock already, but like right now, it just seems like Dark Falcon, he's a player that whenever he gets the lead, he holds it. He, he grasps onto it with diamond hands, right? But, um... You're dead. You're not dead. I, I wanted you to be so bad. <laughs> yeah, I, it, lo it looks like uh, Skunkle doesn't have sus DI, so I, I believe in him. Just a gentleman. It's too early. Then. Too early, making sure to get to ledge early though to avoid any any sort of drop zone there that Skunkle has kind of analyzed as their win condition at this point because you need a pair of edge guards to get anything through but Dark Falcon's not having it very much scouting that roll onto ledge. Game three once more at we head two. Yeah, so um you, you were talking about like, you know, he needed an edge guard and right before this stock, um, he needed that back air to land, right? Cause he was at about hundred percent, right? If you hit, if you hit Richter off stage like that, Richter's not recovering, you're at hundred percent. You can make up damage like that in a short amount of time. But that missed, that missed opportunity led to snowballing, led into holy, holy water into um, whip, whip chain and um, yes, well, you know, like, you know, it's, yeah, it's just yeah. pretty pretty tough against Rick uh, against Richter sometimes um, on the back foot, and Richter's just like you know just drawing the constellation on stage, and just have to navigate through it. Especially when you have a strong, reliable kill power like we do. Yeah, this game might just be decided within that first stock because if if Skunkle is really able to start getting the Inkling Vortex going or manage to squirm out an early edge guard like they did in game one, or perhaps an early SD from Dark Falcon, whichever you prefer, then things can look really differently. But it, when Dark Falcon had control of stage, of pacing, of what, whichever, it was almost curtains right from the seven minute mark. Yeah, and I have to say two things about Skunkle. Skunkle's movement, um, when they're dashing to avoid the holy water and to avoid the cross is kind of crazy. And that cross actually just saved Dark, Fal Dark Falcon's life. Because <laughs> that was his stop to lose. And the cross like came in, saved the day. And there's a reason that if, if allowed to, Richter and or Belmont players will throw the cross at one height and try and be on any height but that when the cross comes back. Just let it let it cover the entire axis. Oh, Holy moly! That oh, 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 yo, yo, yo. Quit okay. Yo, 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 can we talk about that for a second? Please do. Can, can we like? Can we just see? He B reversed the splatter shot onto the ledge, hit him on the ledge, and then nared him when he actually hit him with the splatter shot. And he didn't get the tech because who could have? Nobody knew what the hell was happening. <laughs> if you were ready to tech that, you've seen every inkling setup in the book. <laughs> like you're a master of the matchup. You, like you've seen the Illuminati, man. Like that's <laughs> uh, what? It's just a little bit of stall. 
uh, using Inkling's wall jump to wait out at least one holy water, try to get a roll on while uh, while Dark Falcon was in the lag of the down B toss. Still 56, this is not nearly as much of a lead as uh, as one would think given Inkling's penance for, uh, penance for damage output. Oh yeah, no. Oh, he tried it again. But honestly, against characters who have suspect recoveries, that splatter shot wall can be pretty, can be pretty intense. Especially if, if you don't see it coming. Plus, Inkling can just act out super quickly. You throw out this splatter shot, you initiate hits on if they're close enough, and can dip just as quickly. Up throw to up air. Not doing it quite yet. Richter plenty heavy. And going for that core. Ooh, I went for it again. Okay. Maybe might need to chill out with splatter shot and scope for some needles now. Skunkle has no worry about their ink limit. They use it all, and they rare take the time to recharge, because I guess the thought process is, if I take time to charge ink, then I am losing instances where I can be putting on damage and being uh, the aggressor. Yeah, and you know what, and this actually is, is a matchup where like the ink doesn't really matter that much, right? It, it's not like you're going to be shooting splatter bombs at Belmont trying to challenge him in neutral with it, right? Or you're going to Try, you're trying to try to do a splatter shot in neutral to challenge anything Belmont's throwing at you. So it really only matters when Belmont's off stage anyway, so you might as well pressure when you have the chance. Oh, you died. Yeah. Oh, you're, you are dead, sir. Yeah. Yeah. No, no there's like, after I hit that down, that was, that was, that was G's. That was, I mean, I'm sorry, that was GG's, excuse me. What's that? It was this. He missed ledge. That's huge. <sighs> Missing ledge with the fair wait, was wait, wait, kind wait. of okay. Okay, real okay. Tech real What's quick. Okay. Splatter shot actually has a wind box. So I don't, I don't know if you noticed when he hit him with that when he up beat and he hit him with that wind box. He actually he actually floated for a second. Uh, dark oven. Did he? Let's see this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah, and, yeah. Kind of, and it kind of messed up his landing. Like, I think Dark Falcon meant to do something, and like, it just totally messed up his drift. <laughs> yeah, because he had he held forward a little bit too much. He was on like a, it was a slow angle, but it was one that would get him to ledge. But the extra wind box made him hold forward. Man, just the little things. <laughs> little things can be such a detriment. Yeah, man. You, you, you like you need you need to know all the nuances of these carnival characters. We're gonna pull out a trick at any second, right? Because like stuff like that happens. You, but that was really smart. That was actually really smart by Stunkle to know to force Richter like just off a little bit, not even push him off stage. Just mess mess up his trajectory down trajectory downwards, right? To put out that wind box and then just like punish like that. That's crazy. That's like really that's really good recognition from Stunkle. Yeah, the more 